I am fucked. Your well-being imperils the plan. You cannot be suffered to live. Oh, shit. First thing I want to do is put a health potion on my bars. Ah, uh, come on, come on, come on, game, game, please, please. Game, please. Inventory. Oh, shit. Oh, we're finding it, we're finding it. Oh, God. Alright, whatever. We're gonna try to fight it. Let's go ahead and use a crit buff. There we go. Let's a gargoyle and then we got the mass mage in the back. The mass mage so far is not attacking us, so I'm gonna just think of it as a good thing. I'm gonna just let him not attack us or not fight him too much. Oh god damn it. This is where we at. We're like some kind of nether dark world of like darkness and destruction. Oh, this is not good. Okay, oh shit. I gotta heal up and I'm gonna put up some defensives. That's what I gotta do. There we go. Oh god, this is not exactly good. I should probably run away from tonight. I need to stay on a move. I need to stay on a move somehow. There we go. At least I can run and at least I can run a fight. At least I can do that. I wonder if I can just stay in its back all the time. Try to do as much DPS on it as possible. Oh god, come on, come on, come on. My, I, I really don't want to die here. I really don't want to die here. Jesus. <laughs> I'm literally circulating the thing, hoping it doesn't hit me. It probably is it's still hitting me, but it looks like it's doing a at least less damage than before. But it's not hitting me as accurately. So I'm gonna take that. Let's go ahead and put out the crit. There we go. There we go. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, god. oh man. Oh my. Oh man. Oh lord. Oh lord. Oh man. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. <laughs> god damn it. I might just have to switch to PC controls for this. God damn it. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Back. It's like a hot. No, no, I don't want to do that. No, I don't want to do that. Exit, exit. There we go. Oh, god damn it. You know, I need to run from this thing. I need to run from this thing and hope I can heal up. That's what we need to do. Inventory. Uh, inventory. Use this. Come on, use this. Good. Okay, good. I was able to use some kind of health potion. Good. Now, best bet is just to stay around. There we go. As long as we can circulate it, it shouldn't be able to hit us too much. It shouldn't be able to hit us too hard. What if it's... Hold on, what if it stays still? Will it hit us somewhere? Well, okay. So, we got the Featherfoot buff. So, we're able to protect ourselves for a little bit. Should be enough. Oh, thank Red! Oh, God, thank God, thank Red. You certainly have an act of getting into trouble. Tell me about it. Oh, he healed us. Oh, thank you, thank Red. Jesus. Okay. Nope, nope. Not, uh, not us. The guy, the guy, the guy. There we go. There we go, Elliot. There we go. That's what we attack. Oh, shit. Thank you, finally came to our aid. Finally! Holy crap, we're about to die there! And the worst part is because I couldn't access inventory real fast. That's the problem with controls, I guess. That's the problem with controls. Oh god, we gotta heal up myself. Alright, cool. As long as the guy is able to heal us and heal him himself, I think we'll be just fine. No mortal should possess such strength. What, is, what strength are you talking about? Elite strength? What? Well, Elite is, is. I mean, I guess she's a mortal. I don't know. <laughs> Keep it up, Elite. We almost have him. I gotcha. Gotcha, thank Rin. I got you back. I'm fighting him right in the back. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Duty completed. That's how we do it, guys. That's how we do it, boys and girls. That was awesome. I'm not even kidding you. Very clutch. Very clutch moment, but that was pretty cool. Ah, uh, that the wisdom of Paragon should be brought low by me immortal. Urgh. <laughs> Paragons, this is indeed a disturbing revelation. We should long suspected the involvement of the bringers of chaos, Ashians, to give them their true name. But we would not be sure that they were responsible for the recent disturbances until now, as if the Sultan needed any more enemies. Hmm? Have we Charlayans crossed paths as Asen as Ashians before? Well, we've certainly... Wait, I don't recall telling you about my homeland. Ah, yes, that's right. You're one of the gifted. You know, this marks the third time I've found you in the midst of trouble. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you're a lodestone for it. Anyway, I'm glad I started following you around. Who knows what grand conspiracy you'll stumble upon next? I jest, I jest. Had I truly been watching you every move, I wouldn't have taken so long to intervene in your latest altercation. 
but all's well that ends well, huh? Our masked friend is no more, and while I very much doubt we've seen the last of his kind, his demise will likely grant us at least some respite. And on that note, I must away. Until next time, Elliot. Wow, well, good thing that Thancred saved our ass there. Thank you, buddy. And we took down the masked man, and we got a shadowy gem. Careful, Elliot. You might not want to. Oh, never mind. You don't have to touch it. It just destroyed itself. It kind of reminded me of the same gem that Elliot first found, the blue gem. You know? Kind of remind me of that. Whoops, somebody somebody just died in, in the free company. I guess that's gonna happen eventually. <laughs> Alright, so I kinda wanna switch back to the uh character configuration. Yeah, I wanna switch back to PC controls for now. Console is cool and all, and I mean I I think console's pretty nifty. But PC controls are the ones for me when it comes to this game, you know? i it's it's not that I don't like the control, the controls for the um, steps of thought. Okay, uh, it's not that I don't like the controls for the, uh, I guess, the controller <laughs> for the gamepad. It just, I think this, I'm just kind of used to playing MMOs in an MMO fashion with a, you know, keyboard and mouse, especially these kind of MMOs where you literally have to use a lot of your items, you have to spec a lot of items and make sure to hotkey them and everything. I prefer having the control of hotkeying things and having an easy way to switch. From time to time, maybe this could be fun, like whenever we just, you know, questing and don't have to worry about, you know, difficult combat like that was. That was actually pretty difficult, I'm not sure about you guys, but for me that was actually quite a challenge. Um, because, you know, it was kind of clutch. <laughs> Uh, but still, that that was actually really cool. Just in general, this the entire experience, the entire fact that the game can be played on a controller and a console is really cool and nifty. I think that's, I think more games should be adaptable for a controller because it would just allow more console gamers to kind of you know try MMOs and give MMOs a shot and give them a try. Because when I was on, I'm not sure if I told you, but when I was playing on an Xbox with 60 a long time ago before I even fathom of ever getting a PC or having a PC to play on. I always wanted to have and like to see an MMO that I could like play on a console. And I think the only other one was like another Final Fantasy game that they had before. That was the one console MMO they had. But I never really you know I never really got into it and never really discovered it. But I wanted something of like World of Warcraft type because Back then, I sort of had small interest, small craving to like play some kind of MMO, and I was thinking of the only MMO being like, you know, World of Warcraft. I didn't think there would be, you know, such games like ESO, Guild Wars 2, and Final Fantasy XIV. The fact that Final Fantasy XIV has cross-platform support and allows players to actually play together, that is like the coolest thing ever. I think that is really neat. Let's go ahead and take this. Oh no, we already discovered this, never mind. Okay, we gotta come back to... Okay, we gotta go to Steps of Nald. We can probably... Can we head over to Steps of Nald through here? I wonder if we can. It says we're apparently supposed to be able to go through the door and go over to Steps of Nald. So let's go ahead and do that then. There we go, that's how we do it. Now we go into Steps of Thal. No, we go into Steps of Thal, not Nald. Keep, keep forgetting about it. The only two districts, and I can't seem to remember any of them. <laughs> Alright, so Hustling Strip, we should probably head upstairs. And there's a staircase right over here around the corner. So let's go ahead and use that. Head over this way. That was actually... I gotta say, that was really cool to see Papa Sean again. Because we haven't seen him in forever. Last time we seen him was at a train station. And that was a long time ago. That was like one... I think episode 3 or 4 or something. That was a really long time ago when we seen Papa Sean. It's kind of cool to see him, you know, come back into, into the story. And seeing all these characters, all these important characters of this, I guess, adventure of, you know, Elliot's adventure come back and make their uh, another cameo into the story. I think it's really cool how characters just have this recurring moments of where they can, you know, kind of join back into the main story. And I don't know, I kind of like it. I personally like it a lot. Oh, we don't want to go down there. We want to go up here, up the stairs. We don't, want to go, we don't want to go down the stairs. There's nothing for us to do down the stairs right now. But hopefully, after we deliver the crown and get this business underway, hopefully the queen will allow us to actually have a flight pass, or somebody will allow us to have a flight pass, so we can, you know, fly to different parts of the city, parts of the continent, different places, pretty much, and discover everything. Let's talk to the Sultan's Sworn Elite. 
and see if he can let us get in. Everyone's waiting for you, adventurer. Proceed to the hall. Proceed to the heart. Yep, definitely. Let's go ahead and proceed. Hey, Papa Sean, how's it going? And we're gonna get Ulda's ring. Ooh, that's gonna be nice. Hell yeah. Does it surprise you to see me dressed so, Elliot? I was once a sultan sworn, you know? Though it's been 15 years since I put down my sword and took up the role of Station Master. Yeah, Station Master, see? We met this guy before. It is a capacity in which I am no less proud to serve, let you doubt. Whatever her grace ventures, whenever her grace ventures outside the gates, I have, to on, I have the honor of protecting her person. Never before have I seen so has seen so despotent as to the news of the crown's theft reached her ears. But thanks to your valiant efforts, she is reunited to her former vibrant self. You have my gratitude of every sultan sworn, Elliot. Yeah, look at that. We're going places. We're getting somewhere. We're getting recognition. Exalted vessel of Northal, guardian of Thanalan, 17th ascendant to the throne of Uldar. Her Royal Majesty, Nanamo Ulnamo, presides. The Royal Queen has arrived, I think. Long live Nanamo! Long live Nanamo. Glory to the Sultana! Forever may she Forever reign! Forever may she reign! They regaled me with tales of a champion amongst champions, ones whose tireless service to the crown merited the highest honor we might bestow. Look at that. Never did it occur to me that it might be you. Bring it forth! Betokening our gratitude and esteem, I, Nanamo Ulnamo, Sultana of Ulda, confer upon you this gift. Raubon? Your Grace. See to it that our champion is my personal guest at the banquet. As you command, Your Grace. If what Jesus. they say is true, Ulda owes you a great debt. This guy is freaking tall. Oh, oh, God. Hello, Mr. Mountain Man. I am Rauban al-Din. With the consent of her grace, I oversee the affairs of the Sultanate. Brave souls are few and far between in these times. I count my blessings when I find one. Her grace invites you to join her at the coming banquet. I trust I will see you there. An honor, Huzzah! indeed. Come, hero. Until then, for the sake of her grace and the glory of the Sultanate, may you walk in the light of the crystal. We got probably the highest honor anybody could ever get in Sultana. Ever. That was pretty cool. What do we got here? Voice of the Just. Earrings. Alright. By the 12, Elliot, for an adventurer to receive a personal invitation from a grace is unprecedented. Seats at these banquets are offered only by the most distinguished individuals. You'll be dining with some of the most influential people in Ulda. There are, of course, certain protocols that must be observed. But I'm in no authority of them. Fear them? Fear not, however. Mistress Mambodi has long been responsible for familiarizing foreign quests, uh, foreign guests without customs. Pray return to the quicksand and speak with her. She will tell you all you need to know. Look at that! We're going to the banquet. Boys and girls of all ages and sizes, we're heading to the banquet. We can't wear the ring, can we? Left 15. Damn it. Oh, shit. I did not mean to do that. My bad. <laughs> Whenever you go to try something on, then immediately strips your character. All the clothes, even if you're trying on a ring or earrings. Well then, alright. I guess I have to be level 15 in order to wear them. Let's go ahead and use the Athrite Shard and use it for the Adventurer's Guild. And talk to Miss Momori and see if she can maybe, I don't know, give us give Elliot something nice to wear to the banquet? I don't know. I don't really know the dress code to these kind of things, so... 
I guess uh, we'll just have to trust in Miss Mamodi to prepare Elliot for this great banquet. But I'm actually excited. Let's go to the banquet, guys. We're going to the banquet. Mamodi, guess what? I got good news. Welcome back, Elliot, and congratulations on your invite to the big soiree. Soiree? Oh, I guess it's, it is a soiree. To be honest, I never imagined to be explaining these procedures to you. It's usually only foreign dignitaries who get to hear me prattle on and on about royal traditions. Any road, I know you're a busy woman, so I'll keep it short and sweet. In accordance with ancient custom, all guests to the banquet are required to wear a pair of ceremonial earrings made specially for occasions. They're meant to symbolize... Actually, forget about that. This was meant to be the short version. <clears throat> Being of a design unique of occasion, the earrings serve as a security measure. A sultan's worn won't let you near the hall without them. Oh, okay, gotcha. Let's see what kind of what's going on in chat. Just wanted to read uh, free company chat sometime. Just to in case somebody is like giving awesome tips that I could use. You said your set should be ready and waiting for you at the Goldsmith Guild. Mistress Serendipity is expecting you, so you'll want to head down there now. Once you got them, bring them back here and we'll continue. Alright, gearing up for the banquet. And the first thing we gotta do is get some earrings. Let's get some mother effing earrings. Let's head over to... Wait, we could probably, we could probably get over here, can't we? Yeah, then we can go this way. Alright, Miss Serendipity, we need some earrings. Be before we can, you know, start doing other stuff and all that. Yeah. It's gonna be fun. We're going to the banquet, boys and girls. We're going to the freaking banquet. I'm actually very stoked for it. So where's the guild? Goldsmith guild is gonna be all the way there. Alright, so as soon as we get to the shard, we'll make a right. Get to the center, make a left. Alright. I remember that. I'll memorize it. I could I could just have the map out all the way, but at the same time, if I were just to have map out all the way and just have my nose in the map all the time, I would miss out all the I don't know, all the pretty stuff and all the intricate stuff that I would see around here. Like this shard, I would have just completely missed it out and just not even done anything about it. Or would never see these cool looking clothing right here. They just, you know, displayed just like that. Or never wonder what would be there. I wonder what's what is there. Probably something real cool. You know what? We're gonna go discover that in that direction. It doesn't matter where we go, we'll eventually end up to the place where we gotta head over to. This is the shop, so I'm guessing there's gonna be a big market over there, or big shop right there. Let's see, have we done... I remember this guy, yeah, we helped him out before. I helped him out with his, uh, I think, glacier problems? Pretty sure we helped him out, yeah, bit of snow. I think we helped him out with his, uh, girl problems. Let's see, that's the miner's guild, I believe. Okay, we gotta go head up this way, and we'll get to another at the right. I think we unlocked this one. But we'll unlock it nevertheless, because, you know, it's important to have these kind of things so we can travel all over the place. And just make it fast traveling just a lot easier for us. Running around is all co and cool and all, but when you're in a rush, you're in a rush. Alright, Miss Serendipity, we need our, our earrings. Greetings, is there something I can help you with? Ah, Elliot, your earrings are right here. I crafted them myself. I have you know. I think you'll be very pleased. In case Mistress Mamori didn't warn you, Box is locked, and I'm not permitted to give you the key. It's a final safeguard, you see. Only designated individuals are authorized to distribute the earrings to guests. In this instance, the person in question is not other than Mistress Mamori, so you will need to ask her to open the box on your behalf. Pardon the inconvenience, but Sultan Sworn take the grace of safety very seriously. Alright, well, you know, that makes sense. I, I don't mind it. Someday, I might come back and make Elliot a jeweler. Never know, maybe we'll be able to create our own earrings for these kind of soirees and parties. Let's go back to the Adventurers Guild. There we go. I think it actually teleports us directly to the Adventurers Guild. I'm not 100% sure. Nope, teleports us right outside of it. Is this it? There we go. That's where we go. Do 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 do. Sprinting to the soiree. Come on, come on, come on, I wanna go to Soiree. Excuse me, going to Soiree. <laughs> Just jumping over tables like an excited little cat person. Picked up your earrings yet, Elliot? Yep, we got them right over here. Let me just... <gasps> well, now, looks like the Guildmasters outdid herself for this pair. You best take good care of these earrings. If they fell into the wrong hands, gods only know what might happen. Now then, I hope you're feeling sociable, Elliot, because you're about to hobnob with Oda's elite. Let me, uh, let me know when you're ready to head to the banquet. Let's go ahead and put on the earrings. Da 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 da. I did a quest. Let's see earrings. There we go. Let's put them on. Oh look at that! Look nice. I like it. You can see them on the ears. That is. I look actually kind of cute. Wish we had like a purple set for it, but whatever. Oh, by the way, we also leveled up, so now we can actually wear this ring right over here. There we go. Actually, can we have both rings on? I wonder if it allows to. Oh no, we already have one ring. Let's see. Determination, accuracy, blunt resistance. 
What is this? Strength and dexterity? You know? Oh, shit. Hello. Hello. Poo stink? Very interesting outfit you got there, sir. Or madam. Stoked on Momodi. Let's go to the banquet. This is Adelaide, your big debut to older and high society. The banquet is being held in the fragrant chamber. Head over to the royal promenade and Bartholomew will show you in. Oh, and be sure to put uh, on your earrings first, or he'll send you packing. Right, well I reckon that's everything. Try to let all the pomp and ceremony to get to you. Just be yourself, and you'll be fine. Alright, we're going to banquet in next episode. Sorry, had to kind of, you know, end it kind of so close, but... I do kind of, you know, gotta take a break a little bit every now and then. Nevertheless, next episode. Okay, next episode, we're going to the banquet, guys. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed. My name is Samriel. Like, subscribe, and as always, have a great day. See ya.